So imagine what your life would look like if you can make an extra $200 coming in every day passively. So back in 2014, when I first started making money online, I remember the feeling when I made my first $200 a day, which is around $6,000 a month. Well, it didn't make me a millionaire, but it's just amazing how you can make $200 a day consistently without having to wake up every morning and drag yourself to work a nine to five job that you hate. You're living on your own terms and it's just the best feeling in the world. Well, you can experience that same thing for yourself because today I'm going to show you four products that you can start selling right now that can potentially make you $200 a day and beyond. And if you follow all the steps in this video, you'll have a very high chance of hitting that goal even sooner than you think. All right, so let's start with this store on Etsy, Louis and Lane. All right, so if you browse their shop, it looks like they're selling t-shirts, right? But don't be fooled because I'm going to pull up Everbe here, my product research tool. And we're going to spy on how much these products are actually making. Now, if you sort by revenue, you're going to see that these two products are driving most of the revenue. And if you add them together, that's around $8,500 every single month. Selling what looks to me like a very simple camp flag. It's a simple tapestry-like flag with a custom text on it. And that's it. It's, it's that simple. And they're selling it for $34. Now, if you're wondering about the calculation, Everbee is taking the selling price of $34 here and multiplying it by the unit sales per month. But if you look closely here, you'll notice that they actually have several size options which can cost $60, $70, $80, which means that their revenue is most likely going to be more than $8,500. So the tool is actually being quite conservative here. Now, you're probably thinking, that's great. I mean, this listing's probably been around for at least five years to be making this much money, right? Well, take a look at this. This listing is just two months old. Yeah. And this is the reason why I love this tool because without running that analysis, I wouldn't have known that this piece of camp flag is doing $8,500 every month and let alone being the best seller of the store. So I would have thought that this is just another print on the man t-shirt store and just moved on. Now, if you want to try ever be for yourself, I've put the link down below and full disclosure, if you use my link, I get a small kickback and you can try it for free. I think you get 10 free searches or something like that. Now let's look at another store, Ran G Tapestry. So this store is selling tapestry and wall art and they're making $12,000 every single month. And we've got another store here, Rivery Studio, making at least $50,000 every month selling custom watercolor portraits. And if you look closely here, these are basically watercolor prints that can be sold as either a digital file or printed on a canvas frame. Now you're probably thinking, how am I supposed to do like watercolor or oil painting? Are you saying that I have to manually create designs for every order? That looks very time consuming, right? Well, what if I told you that it will take you less than a minute to create this watercolor prints? Yes, you heard that right. Because we're going to use an AI tool that can take any photos and turn it into a watercolor print in just a few seconds. So let me just show you. So my favorite tool to do this is actually Photoshop. And they've got this new AI tool called Generative Fill that can instantly turn any photo into a watercolor or an oil painting. But please make sure that it's the Photoshop beta version, otherwise you're not gonna see that Generative Fill feature on it. All right, so this is how it works. So when you receive a photo from your customer, you simply need to open the photo in Photoshop and then you wanna select the image, you can write something like oil painting and hit generate. And just in a few seconds, you get your oil painting. You can adjust the opacity here to have more or less of the effect and that's totally within your control. And you can even take it a step further and use an artist's name to add more character to the art. So for example, you can use Van Gogh oil painting and it will generate the image in a style. Now I'm showing you this rather quickly because I've done a more detailed video tutorial before and if you're interested, you can watch that video later. I'll leave the link in the description. And by the way, there is a free trial of Photoshop beta. So if you guys are curious, you can play around with the tool for free. So the next question is what happens if someone wants the artwork to be printed on a canvas? Well, that's easy too, because you can use a print on demand provider like Printify to do all the printing and shipping. And since Printify directly integrates with Etsy, whenever a customer orders an item, Etsy will automatically send the order to Printify and they will do all the heavy lifting of printing the picture and shipping it to your customer. I use Printify for all my print on demand products products because it allows me to focus on growing my Etsy store rather than being busy on fulfilling the orders and shipping it to the customers. And as you can see, they've got a lot of options for picture frames and even tapestries, right? So let's take this one for example. And if you scroll down to the print provider, you can click on more details and you can see what sizes are available, right? So you can offer all of these sizes on your Etsy store with just a click of a button, right? Now it's also really easy to create designs on Printify. So I'm just gonna take the oil painting that I just created and just upload it on Printify like this. 
And it's also gonna put that image on the product itself and you can use this image as your listing image on Etsy. Now, Printify is free to use. They have a free option here. You can start integrating and sell unlimited products without having to spend a single dollar. However, if you get the premium account, it's just $24.99 if you go for the annual plan. But with the premium plan, you get a significantly lower cost of the products. So for example, if someone orders a 60 by 80 tapestry, by having a premium account, you only pay $24 instead of $31, which is around $7 difference, right? So if you sell just four products a month, it'll be cheaper to get the premium version. But the good news is that I've partnered with Printify. So if you use my link below and use code Jason, you get 30 days free of the premium account. But the code is good for the first 100 people who sign up. So I would recommend you getting it now. So I want you to check out this store at Etsy Paper Emporium. They are doing 26,000 British pounds or about 30,000 a month, right? And they've only been on Etsy for less than two years and has made a million dollars on the platform selling that. So this means that what the seller needs to do is just to create these designs, upload it on Etsy, and wait for the orders to roll in. Now the beauty of selling a product like this, or even watercolor prints that we just discussed, is that you can sell the product as a digital file, and if someone wants it printed and shipped to them, you can always use Printify to fulfill the orders. So you're giving your customers more options, and no matter which option they choose, you're not gonna do the heavy lifting. If you're into maps, this product is a no-brainer for you. Now, the next store I wanna talk about is Well-Threaded US. They are making $66,000 a month selling products in their Etsy shop. But there's this one product that is driving $20,000 a month into their store, and that is tumblers. But this is not just any tumbler, but specifically mental health tumblers. So let's do a bit of math here. So if you look closely, this tumbler is currently on sale for $18, and they charge $6 in shipping, so that's 24 bucks. But let's be conservative here. Let's say it's always on sale, right? 100% of the time. So 408 units times $24, that still gives you $9,700 in sales every month. And if we look at Printify, yes, they do have a lot of tumbler options and they do have a similar option here. Also a 20 ounce tumbler with a straw. So if you have a premium account, your cost is gonna be $6.31 plus $9 shipping, which is $15.31. So if they charge $24 to their customers, they still get about $9, which is 38% profit margin. Well, that's pretty good margin. Now, a lot of people know that the Tumblr category is a very competitive niche. You can see here that there are 2.5 million results for Tumblrs. But if you're able to niche down, like for this example, mental health Tumblrs, there's relatively much less competition for you. And design-wise, it's actually pretty easy to come up with these designs. I would just go to Canva and if you just search mental health, right? They have lots of elements related to mental health, like this one right here. You can freely change the text and use the design elements here so you don't have to start from scratch and Pinterest as you can see has a lot of design ideas but just make sure that you don't copy other designs from Etsy you have to make an effort to make something that stands out otherwise you're just gonna be following behind other people so what if you're not a creative person well hire someone on Fiverr it's $20 $30 and think about it it's a one-time fee for a product that you can sell over and over again so there's literally no reason you can give me that you can't do it now the next product is a bit strange, but I think you're gonna love it. And I think some of you are gonna try it right after watching this video. So check this out. So this store, Toncardi, makes $14,000 a month. So what are they selling? A personal cutting board. I think it looks pretty cool. It's $67.90 for this small one right here. And guess what? Printify has this cutting board as well. In fact, they're even using the same photo here. So how much are you gonna make? So this small one is gonna cost you about $30, including shipping. So that gives you a $37 margin. That's a pretty thick margin. So you have a lot of wiggle room here if you want to put it at a discount. Now, since this is a customized or a personalized product, I would add a couple of upsells here just to increase my average order value. So just take a look at a listing for a custom portrait here, completely different product. They will charge you extra if you want to add another pet or a person. So you can apply the same idea for this cutting board. You can charge an extra five to $10 if the customer wants to add elements into the cutting board. And if you're starting a store with these products, I would recommend putting up a lot of listings, like maybe 30, 40 listings of different designs. You can do patterns, nature photos, watercolor photos, so the customer have an idea of what can go on these cutting boards. And of course, you wanna offer the custom options as well. So the more listings you have, the more exposure you're gonna have on Etsy. So if you wanna achieve the same results at these stores, you gotta put in the work. Spend some time creating listings, descriptions, you know, having the right tags. So think about it, you spend 40 hours a week in your nine to five job making someone else more money. But imagine spending 40 hours on an Etsy listing, you would have created a highly converting listing that can potentially make you money for months or years to come. 
So make sure you put in the effort for this because you're gonna thank yourself in the future. All right guys, if you find value in this video, the best way to support me is to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, if you want another business idea, I recently did a video on how this online business make at least $11,000 a month. And the only cost is a $12 subscription to a software. So check out this video and I will see you there.